this week on Marshall Doors TV. Out of the blue, I asked my sister to come film with me. Out of anybody, this is who I'd want to be out here. At the AVNX next he said all in front of us, so we're just going to sit and wait. Yes, baby! How's about that? <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy! Big time down. That's how we do it, bro. You know that one's some more slow, Woo! baby! Oh my God, we just smoked the big bear. Marsh Outdoors is brought to you by Zinc Calls, a champion in every call. Avian X, fuel the madness. Heavy Shot, the industry leader in performance shot shell ammunition. Jolly Roger Tackle, premium fishing tackle. Rice Lake Tourism, you'll love our friendly nature. Lawrence. Find, navigate, dominate, and by Monday Lake Kennels. Well, to start off this show, we're going to hunt with my good friend, Ben Kolbeck. Ben's been a team member of Marsh Outdoors for a long time. I met him while I was at college, and he was just graduating high school. Ben did a lot of filming for us, waterfall hunting, coming up to Canada, local areas around Wisconsin. He did a lot of filming for us. And I couldn't be happier and thankful to meet such a great friend. You know, but Ben's passion is white-tailed deer hunting. He took his passion, he's chasing his dream, he's living down in Iowa, working and going to school now. But when Ben comes back up north, we always get together. And this time, he's trying to find a big old northern Wisconsin turkey. Well, just got up to Rice Lake, Wisconsin, my hometown from, uh, from Iowa, and I had four days to hunt. Me and my dad went out the first two days. It was pouring rain. We were on a couple birds, but they didn't want to come in. They seemed to be hend up, so. scrounging to try to find a filmer for the next morning and Jordan was off filming a, filming a different staffer so out of the blue I asked my sister to come film with me and she said yeah so we were gonna hit it off in the morning and see if we could make the best of it before I had to head back. My brother had asked me to go film with him as he was turkey hunting. I said I would be really interested in doing it and I thought it would be a great opportunity. I just told him he would just have to help me use the camera equipment and I also thought it would be a really good bonding time with him.
a couple gobblers in the field. They were responding to my calls, but they just would not break away from that group. Not all turkey calls are created equal. Whether on the Grand National stage or sitting by a tree on a spring morning, turkey calling has been my life since I could walk. In today's world, when it comes to turkey calls, I demand the best. And here at Zinc Calls, we hand build one at a time the best sounding calls available today. I made the switch, so should you. Zinc Calls, a champion in every call. Looking for a place that's easy to get to, yet far enough away? Then Rice Lake is your vacation destination. Nestled into the quiet woods of northwest Wisconsin, with hundreds of miles of snowmobile and ATV trails, Rice Lake offers great wildlife and hunting opportunities, as well as great fishing, whether it be bass, bluegill, northern pike, or walleye. Rice Lake, Wisconsin. You'll love our friendly nature. Finally, after non-stop calling, they broke loose and came into the Avian X decoys.
We have been watching these gobblers all morning, all morning. This is my first gobbler with a bow. He took off running. He should be right down, right down in this wood line. Mandy, you put on a show. I couldn't shoot over this blind. <clears throat> Man, we had seven gobblers out on this field this morning, strutting for literally 45 minutes. They would not come in. Finally two got ballsy enough and came in and beat up these AVNX decoys, putting on one heck of a show for us this morning. I can't thank her enough for filming this this morning. Point blank, getting her done with Marsh Outdoors. Let me tell you, this was one experience that I will never forget. The first time my sister has ever been in the turkey blind with me, hunting with me, period. And we capitalize and have the best morning of my entire season up here in Wisconsin. You can't get anything better than that. This afternoon, I'm gonna drive back to Wisconsin or uh, back to Iowa, where I live now. And uh, man, what an incredible hunt! Unbelievable. What we're gonna do. I'm just gonna sit here for a little bit. I'm gonna calm down. <laughs> Try to calm down anyway. And. Uh, you know, I'll just cherish this moment, guys. Like, introduce someone new to the outdoors. You know, my sister, she doesn't even have her, she doesn't even have her hunting permit, and we're a, we're a big hunting family, and she didn't get it because, you know, she was involved in sports in high school, and she's a senior now, and she's going to be graduating and stuff, and what better opportunity than to ask my sister to come out this morning, and I can't thank the dear Lord above us that there's no doubt, <laughs> there's no doubt that He's the one that made this happen this morning. I can't thank him enough. And again, I just want to thank Marshall Doors and St. Calls for supplying us with these great AB Next decoys. I mean, they put on one heck of a show. Lake up here in northern Wisconsin. I drove up uh, see Thursday night um, from Iowa. Tried to find someone to film for me. Not thinking my own sister <laughs> would be the one that would end up coming out with me this morning. But you know what? Out of anybody, this is who I'd want to be out here. You know, they ended up coming right in. You know, putting on a great show. I uh, man, it's the first bow kill ever with a. For a turkey so uh i can't i can't be pleased enough it was definitely a crazy experience they were literally eight yards from the blind and um boy oh boy you have fun or what i had some fun did you yeah but yeah boy oh boy i couldn't ask for anything better they them birds put on a show this morning and we had gobblers five six seven gobblers still after we we're after we shot this one out in the field and just gobbling away. Unbelievable. Three quarter inch spurs, bow nine, ten inch beard. First gobbler with the bow, so I cannot complain. I'm happy beyond belief. Remember, introduce someone new to the outdoors and stay tuned on Marsh Outdoors TV because we got some crazy footage coming at you this year. I've spent the last 30 years chasing turkeys and used every decoy on the market, but now I use AVNX. I've made the switch, so should you. <laughs> the complete line of AVNX turkey decoys are built by 365 day a year passion. We've built these decoys to be hunter friendly, hence the LCD, <laughs> lifelike collapsible decoy. AVNX, fuel the madness. Looking for a place that's easy to get to, yet far enough away? Then Rice Lake is your vacation destination. Nestled into the quiet woods of northwest Wisconsin, with hundreds of miles of snowmobile and ATV trails, 
Waste Lake offers great wildlife and hunting opportunities, as well as great fishing, whether it be bass, bluegill, northern pike, or walleye. Rice Lake, Wisconsin. You'll love our friendly nature. From the makers of Heavy Shot, the biggest development in waterfowl loads in a decade, Heavy Metal. Delivering 20% more lethal pellets on target than any conventional waterfowl load with superior patterning and energy from Heavy Shot's patented technology. Available now and priced competitively with premium steel loads. More pellets, more pattern, more birds in your bag. Get the picture? Learn more at heavyshot.com. Well, now it's my turn to get back behind the gun. After shooting pterodactyl, I spent a couple weeks traveling around the Midwest filming other staffers, getting them turkeys as well. Now, if you don't know how the Wisconsin turkey season works, you're granted a one week period to shoot a bird. I'd already shot my bird, but I bought a leftover tag. We had to wait till Wednesday morning for that season to start. My good friend Keith Katinger has got a couple birds pinned down and patterned in a field just down from his house. I made the drive down there Tuesday night. Wednesday morning we got up in hopes that that patterned turkey would show his face again. gonna sit and wait for them. Usually between 6 30 7 o'clock doing and showing up so we're gonna do some limited calling. Got the AVNX decoy set out in front of us so we're just gonna sit and wait. See what happens. Hopefully we can have three big toms go in and the decoys and take a bulk at one of them. See what happens. Stay tuned. <laughs>
Yes, baby. Got him. Oh, baby. Legs asleep and everything. That's right, baby! Woo! From the makers of Heavy Shot, the biggest development in waterfowl loads in a decade, Heavy Metal. Delivering 20% more lethal pellets on target than any conventional waterfowl load with superior patterning and energy from Heavy Shot's patented technology. Available now and priced competitively with premium steel loads. More pellets, more pattern, more birds in your bag. Get the picture? Learn more at heavyshot.com. Sure, you may want to relax between turkey hunts, but our Avian X turkey decoys surely don't. They're ready to go 24-7. Think you have trouble telling our turkey decoys from the real thing? Spring gobblers will too. Lifelike, collapsible decoys. Avian X, fuel the madness. How about that, huh? <laughs> How's about that? <laughs> Dude. That was a pretty long poke. I, 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 I wanted to make sure you had them. And I was like, you got them? Yeah. And you're like, like right as I was looking over, you're like, shoot them. How about that, baby? <laughs> There's two for sure. I see, dude, he stood back there for the longest time. I, I, I was waiting for him to come around the corner. I'm like, did you see him? Huh? You had him on camera. Yeah, and it got, yeah, you got yeah, yeah. He got rolled. Like there was actually a pause from when you shot to when the BBs finally hit him. Really? It was like boom, and then all of a sudden he went down on. Well, he rolled pretty good. I mean, he yeah, was yeah. he he tumbled. Yeah. But that's a how far of a poke is that? I don't know. I'll go paste it off here quick. <laughs> 60 yards, Todd. No way. <laughs> 60 yards? All, all of 60. 60 yards? 60 yards. I knew it was a pork. I'm like, God dang it. But if we wouldn't have shot him, we would have never. I mean, he. He wouldn't have come back. <laughs> well, here we are, folks. Not a real exciting morning in terms of goblin and calling and things like that. Pretty quiet morning. We actually never hit the call once. Um, Keith was telling me that these birds have been hunted for a little while now. They're smart birds. Uh, this thing's got a, a jumbo beard on. It's got nice spurs. And so he's obviously an old bird here. And uh, we put the avian X's out. What they've been doing is every morning, Keith said, the last three mornings, they've been just walking out of this field, eating a little bit of the corn, and uh, walking right on through. But we put the decoys out uh, just in case we wanted one to uh, attack the Jake. There's three times he said that have been coming out here every morning but uh that's not always the way it works out we had him step out of the woods i i was sitting here and i could hear what i thought was a turkey behind us and uh, i was trying to look behind us and didn't see any birds or nothing and all of a sudden i looked to my left and i can see this little head start poking through the weeds and i said keith there they are over there buddy and i could see two heads and one turkey walked out and uh he slowly made his way he looked a little bit nervous saw the decoys and went to feeding he slowly turned around. I looked over at Keith and said, you got him? And he's, yep. And as, as that happened, he started to slowly walk away. And I swung my, swung my gun over. And that's where the natural uh, waterfall instincts take over. And put it right on his head, got him, and knocked him out. It was just over 60-yard shot. So it was a poke, but we got it done. 
Great looking bird here on Marshall Doors TV. Thanks for watching. Well, that's going to do it for this week's show. Make sure to stay tuned for scenes for next week's episode. And remember, introduce them anew to the outdoors. They'll appreciate it for a lifetime. I'm your host, Jordan Marsh, and thanks for watching on Marsh Outdoors. This week on Marsh Outdoors TV. There's one here that's going to come to the top of the corner. Uh, no, we're just patiently waiting to see if uh, a bear will come back tonight. Hook up. Get the net. It's a big one. Nice fish. That bait moves up is real key. Uh, muskies tend to go nuts. Marsh Outdoors is brought to you by...